All right, guys, we're going to keep uh, rolling along here on our assembly here. So once again, we're always lubing up, rotating internal parts here, putting some oil on pins. Put some lube on there. These have already been identified as uh, their appropriate intake and exhaust. There's a lot going on here in the design of this. I'm going to line up my arrow here, line up the cam timing, just double checking things. The direction of these pins really matter. When the cam pulley's already in place, you can't you can't put it in the wrong way. It wants to it wants to hit the cam. I mean, you could force it across there, but it doesn't want to work so easy. But what we have here is when these are in the right place, that they slide really nice and down and into place, and then. There's quite a few things going on here. We talked about this earlier where this is going to sit down on that pin and hold it in place so the cam doesn't fall out. And the other thing is, is inside the cover here won't allow for these pins to come out. Do you notice here we clean the surface really good here, but what did we forget to do to the cover? Clean the cover. Clean the cover. So we'd want to clear this off. We'd apply a silicone down and put this in place. But we're not going to do this in this video, but I'm just going to talk about it real quickly is anytime you do an engine overhaul, you absolutely need to reset the valve clearance. And so the engine is always top dead center compression. And then on this one here, we want six thousandths intake and eight thousandths exhaust. So what I do is I go along here and I'm going to stick my filler gauge in between the rocker, this adjustable screw and the valve tip. And I would keep going until I get the largest one that will fit without any compression on the spring. On these small engines, it's pretty easy uh, to do that. So I'll go ahead here. This 7 still fits. So what's that say about that intake valve? It's out of, out of, uh, clearance. It's too loose, right? The 8 yeah. fits. The 9 fits. The 10 is just... The, the, the 10 does not want to go in without me forcing it in. So this is at 9 thousandths. It's way too loose. Okay, so what we do is loosen this lock adjuster and we would uh, tighten this up. Now we got specialty tools you guys will see in other videos that would actually hold the center one so that we can tighten it at the same time. But like I said, you'll see that in a future video. So we would need to duplicate this over here, set this at eight thousandths. And then from here, we go ahead, put a light bead of silicone just like we did in our other videos on here and get this assembled up. Now, with it, just like everything we've always done, what would I do to these bolts? How would I install them first? Kiss them. Just kiss them. Diagonally and then pull. Get them in. And we're about ready to wrap this up. A lot of little details for one little engine, but get this in place. And once I got one on, I don't have to worry about it falling or being out of place. Like I said, I'm just going to go across and lightly kiss. Lightly kiss. Lightly kiss. And then come in here. One. Two. Still just kissing, not trying to torque. Now I'm fully seated, and I would go in and torque them to spec. Okay. 